Welcome back to Let's Play Ultima Underworld. I think what I'm going to do now is to go and fight some headlesses to increase my experience. <laughs> Remember back when we were helping Ironwit find his blueprints and we fell off that ledge and there were some monsters down there? <laughs> I'm gonna go and fight those guys. I think it's this way. To get to the ground level of this place. <laughs> well, we should be about strong enough now to fight through all of them. I think actually probably the headlesses are not as tough as the mine monsters, but there are a fair number of them. <laughs> Just restoring my health a little bit. There's some stuff down here as well. Some crossbow bolts. <laughs> Just, you know, random shit lying around. A dagger that I don't think we need. I mean, it doesn't have any enchantments on it or anything. Some leggings. Nothing special about them. Who? Who are you? A hostile headless. I'm going to fight the hell out of you. <sighs> Alright, that was easy enough. Let's continue on. Nothing. Just a dead end. <laughs> so let's go back to the corridor from whence we came. way down this way and down here <laughs> oh another one <sighs> son of a bitch There we go. He actually dropped some gold, even. <laughs> Here's a leather cap. Not that there's anything particularly useful about it, or special about it, but I like to check and see if anything's enchanted. <laughs> Another headless. Hey, there are boots back there. But this headless is in the way. Again, just boots. No need to take them. <laughs> Let me see what's down this way. Just a dead end. Let's try this path. Another dead end. And this last path. <clears throat> Another dead end. So that's it for this little area. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Really? I'm bad at this. Wait, am I going the right way? 
I don't even know anymore. Yes, I am. Wow. Let's not do that a third time. I almost just did. Man, given how I'm maneuvering here, it's a miracle I even got to this point in the game without dying 8,000 times. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna head this way to the shrine, see if I can't upgrade my abilities a little bit more, and then we've mostly done everything there is to do on this level. Mostly. Let's see. Oh, wait. Actually, I want to take a look at what skills require upgrading. Defense could use some upgrading. <laughs> mm. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my magical skills. There are only three magical skills here, and they're all actually pretty useful, so usually for that I just use the general <laughs> mantra. Mu'am. I increased in casting. How about lore? There we go. And... Mana? I think that mantra is Emu. I'm not ready to advance anyway. <laughs> well, that was useful. <clears throat> Increasing your casting skill simply decreases the, uh, the chances that a spell will fail or backfire. So now... We are going to head down to the second or the third level now. <laughs> so, let's see, which way do I want to go? Actually, I'll go down to the south. Oh, actually, there is something that I wanted to do first. Let's come in here. There's the bit about King Goldthirst's treasure hoard. Let's see if I can get him to talk about it. Greetings, Bold Corvus. Hast thou managed to kill the vicious monster infesting our minds? Yes, the deed has been done. I knew that word. Hero, was it difficult? Yes, I was fortunate to have slain it. And modest as well. Truly thou art worthy of great reward. Uh, some dude comes up and gives you a amulet in the shape of a stone cutter's chisel. This is the favored tool of Great Kuln's, the best gem cutter ever to grace our tribe. It is traditionally presented to heroes and those who excel in their craft. Our thanks. Hmm. I'll give him something in return. Maybe one of these sapphires of mine. Though I'd welcome. Accept this gift in return. This is indeed a goodly gift, and I thank thee for it most kindly. Wouldst thou care to see the treasure chamber to which it will be added? <laughs> Only if your lordship insists. Thou shalt see it for thyself. Take thee to the end of the hall from which thou didst enter, and say the words Deco Morono to the guard at the door. I thank thee. <laughs> so we come down here. There's a door here that's locked. <laughs> This is actually the the guard's quarters. And by the guard, I mean this guy in here. Where are you? There you are. Steel Toe. I think that's his name. Yes. <laughs> halt! Who goes there? I am Corvus. What is thy business here? I come on Goldthirst's business. I doubt your purpose here is legitimate if you know not the password. Deco Morono. Greetings, noble sir. Enter with honor and look upon the magnificent treasure chamber of Lord Goldthirst. Dare ye not to do any further. <laughs> so now this door opens and we can come in here. There's a scroll there on the ground. Just a scroll, I can't tell what it does at the moment. <laughs> and if we look down, there's the treasure hoard. But we don't want to drop in down in there just yet, because... 
there's a big nasty golem in there who will try to kill us if we do. And I don't think I'm powerful enough yet to fight a golem. Anyway, we're at about 10 minutes, so I'll stop this here, and see you guys next time.